from the Dallas Cowboys. Of course, uh, last year he was suffering from a neurological disorder, and now he's back and fully healthy. And he's Travis Frederick. He joins us on the Doug Gottlieb Show on Fox Sports Radio. How you feeling? I'm doing well. How are you guys? T- take me take me through kind of this journey for you. Yeah, it's been an, uh, a long journey. Very interesting. You know, it goes starts from figuring out what's going on and. Um, kind of falling into into it and then trying to get better from it and recover from it and um, it's been a lot of time spent uh, you know in the weight room and that getting ready there but also you know in the meeting rooms trying to help the guys out and and that and then uh, and come back to training camp trying to figure out uh, how to play ball again you, you mentioned the weight room and trying to get back to where you needed to be what was the how bad was it when you first got back after it Oh, uh, I mean, from the beginning, it was like it was very bad. Like I was having a hard time walking, let alone lifting weights. So um, getting back in the weight room, trying to do things, you know, you're, you're lifting weights that I could have lifted when I was 10 years old. Um, but you just kept pushing on it and pushing on it and taking what was, you know, what was given. And as my body was recovering, just taking a little bit more and then, you know, getting back to uh, full strength. When was the moment where you were you, th- where you were really this is going to because everybody and I like you look, you went to push yourself if not for an indomitable will, right? Not unless you had that belief in yourself that you could come back. But there had to be a moment of affirmation, wasn't there, where you're like, oh, this is this is going to be okay. Things started to really take a turn right around bye week last year. Um, you know, I was kind of in a dark hole for a while there. But um, the recovery started, and uh, it, it started to make some bigger, more significant gains. And I think that was the moment when I knew that I was at least going to get close back to, to full strength. Travis Frederick joining us, Doug Gottlieb Show here on Fox Sports Radio. Um, okay, so what's what's this group like as opposed to previous groups you played with? You know, this is a great group of guys, and I'm really excited to be with them. Uh, not only f- from a team aspect, but offensively and as an offensive line, you know. Um, I've been really pleased with the with the work that the, the offense has done. You know, with Coach Moore coming in, making a few changes, um, and getting that all figured out. Um, the install has been clean; it's been good, and, and guys have really focused in on it and, and and try to take advantage of those changes. So, you know, I'm excited to get out there, you know, in the regular season and, and get moving with it. Is it is it challenging at all to not have your running back? You know, I think that uh, most of our system is very similar to what we'd been doing before. The the changes are. You know, schematically, uh, bigger picture type of stuff. So a lot of the stuff is the same. And, and so our job in as an offensive line is to block it a certain way, no matter who the runner is, no matter who the quarterback is, no matter what is going on in the wide receiver position as well. So for us, it doesn't really change anything at this point. You, you mentioned Coach Moore. You have him. He's younger, but he's also a former quarterback. D- does that change in terms of his ability to understand what you have to do and how each play should be blocked? Yeah, it's it's really interesting seeing the perspective from somebody that's that's been in it and seen it like that, um, and and very recently as well. You know, I, it was just a couple of years ago. I was sitting on the bench next to him, and uh, so that's always a that's a fun thing that you know we've seen the game together. He was played quarterback behind me, so we have an idea, um, and we're on the same page. And so when you have that sort of fresh experience, I think that that really helps in connecting with the quarterback, connecting with the young offense, and knowing uh, the challenges of today's you know NFL what about the challenges of the fact that you did play together right like he he's I'm not necessarily your boss but he is telling you what to do yeah. and you you're like look dude, we're contemporaries what, what about that challenge you know it's interesting um but it's also it, it's it's kind of a weird dynamic because you know in the NFL it's different than college it's different than high school when you're in high school the coaches is, is the end-all be-all when you're in college uh the coach is the boss and that's, and, and that's kind of that way here but also um, it really is a team effort at all points. You know, the coaches have have a specific job. The players have a job. The staff people have a job. The executives have a job. But we all feel like we're really on the same team and trying to work together. And I think uh, Coach Moore's done a great job of sort of embracing that and, and doing it as a team, taking input from the offensive line. Hey, hey, Trav, why don't we block it this way? Or what do you think about this? And I'll tell him, well, here's our challenge. We'd be happy to do it however you want to do it. Um, but this is the implication of, of that change. And so – um, just by being able to have that conversation, it allows us to sort of expand and um, think about things in a different way. Uh, last thing, uh, you know, we talked with Wit about about Dak, and I asked him about the difference in you know not being here last year and and how much he's changed. Mm-hmm. Similarly for you, obviously, uh, with all of your challenges last year, it, it was time away from playing with him. How is he different? How is he better? Is he worse in comparison to last time you are in training camp with him? You know, it's hard for me to evaluate a quarterback on the quarterback position. Um, but what I can evaluate is the way that he leads the team, the way he carries himself, um, the way that the offense runs while he's in there. And all of those things seem just so much more comfortable. And, uh, 
you know, um, all the gears are all sort of Seamless. going in the same direction. Yeah. Um, whereas sometimes, you know, with younger guys, you know, it might be skipping a beat every once in a while. And I think that things have really, he's really settled into the offense and feels really comfortable with it. And, uh, you know, it was, it was really interesting for me to see him grow last year. You know, I was kind of on the sideline, but I was still in it. I was um, as involved as, as you can be for not being, being out there on the field. And um, to see him grow um, and be able to handle some of the protection stuff and see a little bit more what the offensive line is seeing because I wasn't out there handling it, um, I think that that really helped bridge the gap, too, between the quarterback and offensive line. And I, I think that as an offense – um, he's done a good job of bringing everybody together. Really quickly, did you play the, the backup lineman played like 62 snaps? Did you play against against the uh, Niners? Yeah, I played uh, just that first series. So How, nine snaps. What's it What's it like to get back out there? Oh, it's great. I mean, that's a great feeling uh, after everything I've been through to be able to go back out there and play football uh, professionally is a it's a really special deal. Welcome back. Obviously, a huge part of what the Cowboys do and want to do this season. Thanks so much for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me, Travis Frederick. Back. Uh, uh, where, wow, amazing considering the journey from last season. This is the Doug Gottlieb Show here on Fox Sports Radio. Hi, I'm Doug Gottlieb from uh, Fox Sports Radio, and you need to subscribe to the Fox Sports Radio YouTube channel where you can hear and see me. Why not? Plus, everybody else who's awesome here in Fox Sports Radio.